Hi everyone, Christy from Shark Pixel here. Apologies for the lost voice, but I did not want to uh, wait any longer um, to bring you some amazingly exciting news. I hope you guys have been tuning in to my previous episodes on everything that's being launched at Adobe Max when it comes to Lightroom Classic. And I hope you guys are logged in and registered and have watched my Adobe Max presentation on the new uh, things, the new releases that are coming out in Photoshop. But this is about Lightroom. This is my most exciting, um, second most exciting video about the new features that have just been released uh, in Lightroom Classic. I have finally been released from my NDA, so I can shout it from the mountaintops. I'm super thrilled and excited to be able to share this information with you. If you haven't, check out the other episodes that I've been uh, releasing this week about all the new stuff that's coming out in Lightroom Classic. But in this episode, we're gonna talk about Select People, which is one of the newest AI selection uh, options that you have in Lightroom Classic. So let's get started. I just do want to point out that you, you'll you need to make sure that you update your Lightroom Classic prior to having these new features show up. The way that you can do that is by going to Lightroom Classic, going to About Lightroom, and then making sure that yours starts with a 12. Your release has to start with a 12.0, 12.1, something like that. If for some reason you're still using 11, you can come up to your Creative Cloud account, you can go to your apps uh, or updates, and um, you can see where it says update available. You just wanna click on that to make sure that it updates for you. Okay, so now that the bookkeeping is out of the way, you can see here we have a uh, beautiful image by Amanda Godlove. Thank you for letting me use your image today to demonstrate this new amazing tech. Uh, tech. So if I come over and I take the image into the develop module, uh, we can go into our masking panel right up here, which we are all familiar with, but it's gonna look a little bit different. So if I come up here, you'll see we have select subject, select sky, select background, object. If you haven't checked out the select object episode, please do. Uh, brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, we're familiar with all those. Right, but down here we have people. Do you want to select all people or do you want to select one person or another person? Okay, so if I scroll out and I zoom out, you can see that you have the option to, instead of select subject, which would have selected both of them, you have the option to select one subject or the other, but it does not end there. This is bonkers. So let's say we want to, uh, Person two tells us, oh my gosh, you know, I'm next to my sister, but my, you know, I did, I wasn't able to go to the beach before our session. Is there any way you could give me a little bit of a tan on my skin? Now, I'm not saying everybody's going to ask for this, but if you can do it in Lightroom and not have to go to Photoshop for it to appease your clients, it's going to save you time. So if we click on person two, watch the amazingness. So we have person two here. We have the option for entire person, select the entire person. We have this option to select facial skin, select body skin, select eyebrows. We have the option to select eye sclera. Sclera, this is gonna be a new vocab word for everybody. It is the eye whites, uh, iris and pupil, lips, teeth, and hair of this individual. Talk about exciting. Okay, so if we wanted to do that, then we could select the face skin and the body skin from subject number two, and we could choose to create a mask. After we do that, we could go ahead and just add a touch of darkness to the skin, and hopefully she likes the final result, if you wanted to add a little bit of increased saturation to her skin, you could do that as well to just make that, um, to make that tan really pop. And then if I go on and off, click on and off the eyeball on that mask, you'll be able to see the adjustments that were made. So let's do this on, like, let's supercharge this. First of all, right? I mean, it, it's, 
it's such a game changer. I have been dying to tell people about um, these updates and I'm so excited to be able to do it. Anyway, so we've made that adjustment. Let's, let's really take this to the next level. We have this image of multiple different people, right? So what uh, Lightroom is doing at the moment is it's uh, going through and it's processing and it's selecting all of the people reading the image. So you've got person one, person two, person three. You can see there that it has selected the ear of person two, person four, person five, and person six. So if this all rings true, we should be able to make a selection. So um, if I had a, uh, let's say a creative director come to me and go, this image looks great. I'd like the teeth whitened on all the people except the girl in the jean jacket. Well, let's do it. So what we'll start with is we'll go through and we're going to select one person and then we're going to choose to add people to our selection. Now that can be done by just clicking this button here, add people. So I'm going to add person two, person three, person four. I'm not going to add person five and I'm going to add person six. Then I'm going to choose continue. Now, remember what I just showed you about all of the automatic selections? Very exciting for me. Do we want to select the entire people, the entire persons? Do we want to select their face skin, their body skin, their eyebrows, their eye sclera or their eye whites, their iris and pupils, their lips, their teeth, or their hair? And it also gives you the option to create five separate masks. But let's go ahead and choose teeth. And automatically with 10 clicks of the mouse, give or take, we hit create mask and a mask has been created for us of all of those people's teeth. Now, if you've taken any of my training in the past, you know that my typical way of uh, whitening teeth is not by brightening them. It's by neutralizing the yellow color that's on the teeth. So what I, what I prefer to do is go in, shift the color from yellow to blue for the temperature, and then shift the tint from green to a little bit more magenta. And you can see automatically that the teeth have been, the yellow of the teeth has been neutralized on all the subjects except for the girl in the jean jacket. So if you have learned something new in this video, if you have uh, enjoyed it, please go ahead, hit subscribe, give me, leave me a comment if your mind has been blown like mine has and ring the bell so that you know when the next uh, episode is released on this. And if you'd like to download notes for, um, for what is new in Photoshop, go ahead and come to this link, www.sharkpixel.com forward slash max22, all lowercase. That is my PDF on all the new announcements for what is new in Photoshop. For Lightroom, what I am doing is I was able to put together three of my top beauty retouching one-click presets because what this does, what this technology does is it allows me to create masks over specific areas of the facial regions, specific facial regions, and it allows me to make adjustments to those. Anybody that's familiar with the 100 Lightroom adjustment portrait retouching brushes that I sell will be super excited because instead of going and activating a specific brush and painting it in, we now have that capability in presets proper. Okay, so I'm going to be including in a link in the description my top three beauty retouching presets, one-click presets. And I'm also going to have another entire episode dedicated to creating beauty retouching presets for you. Thank you to Adobe Max. Thank you to Adobe, to the Lightroom Classic team for letting this happen. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am about this technology coming out. 
Um, and I'm super honored to be able to share it with you today. So like I said, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, all those good things. Ring the bell. Uh, I know the list is like is like a mile long, but uh, I hope that you have learned something new. I hope that you are as excited as I am and geeking out as much as I am about this new tech. And I cannot wait to see what you guys do with it. So I will see you on the next course.